I added $16,000 plus in sales with one single email in the abundant card flow. And in this video, I will show you the exact steps on how to set up an effective abundant card flow in 2024 for your e-commerce business that will help you recover lost potential sales and it will increase your revenue, but more important, your profits. And for those who don't know me yet, my name is Dan. I'm already for five years active in the e-commerce space where the first three years I was scaling my own stores past millions in revenue. And the last two years, my team and I, we partnering up with qualified e-commerce brands and we help scale them up with email and SMS marketing. And with no further ado, let's get straight into this video. But before I'm going to show you the exact steps in my Klaviyo account on how to build this flow, including the emails, I quickly want to show to you what is the lost potential revenue if you've not set it up correctly. Okay, so over here you see a couple of our clients and before working with us, you can see that the open rate was 58%, the click rate 4.2% and the conversion rate was also 4.2%. So we implemented our new designs, our strategy and what you can see is that we increased the open rate to almost 60%, the click rate we almost tripled it to 15% and we uh, increased the conversion rate to 5.1%. And over here you can see another um, yeah, case study of one of our clients where they had a 0.9% conversion rate and we increased it to a 1.5% conversion rate. Also in here you can see a couple of other of our clients results. So really if you've set this up correctly you will see an increase in revenue and in profits. So before I want to talk to you about uh, how to set it up real quick in abundant flow overview because I see a lot of store owners that are building out their flows doing something wrong and basically what it is is that they confuse the cart abundant with the checkout abundant. So to give you a good overview, basically before someone entered the abundant flows um, yeah, funnels, then they basically are in the welcome flow or you have sent them a campaign, then they will go into the abundant flows and the goal is to make them a purchase so then you can retarget them with the post-purchase flow, all right? So within the abundant flows, you have a couple of stages where people can be in. So first of all, the site abandonment that's mainly on the home and the collection page where you basically introduce the best sellers and collections. Then you've got a browse abandonment that is really on product level. So in this flow, you want to highlight more product use piece. Then you've got the cart abandonment flow that is really on cart level and that is just not the checkout level and basically what you want to do in here is reminders, USPs about the product, store benefits, and you want to add a lot of social proof. There you got the checkout abandonment and this is really on checkout level. And basically what you want to do in here, it's almost the same, but there are a couple of things that you want to do different is that you want to add more urgency in there and also more social proof about their order, okay? So that is basically the abandonment flow overview and I see a lot of people making a mistake and confusing the checkout flow for the cart abandonment flow. And there's a big difference between those two flows. So real quick, why is it stupid if you don't have an abundant cart flow? So mainly if you're running any traffic to your stores, right? It can be ads, it can be email campaigns, it can be organic traffic, or that can be other flows, right? There's a lot of people coming to your website and on average around 70% will leave their products into the cart. So that is so important that you retarget them specific with a cart abandonment flow. And the beautiful thing is, is that it's completely automated, right? So you can basically automate everything. Uh, sending an email is free and you can add a lot of personalization, like the first name and which product they have left in the cart. So in here, what I quickly want to show to you is, hey, how does Clavio know, right, which product someone is leaving in the cart? And this is what I mean in the beginning of the video, right? A lot of people confuse the abundant cart flow with the checkout flow. And it is a big mistake because you want to add different content in here. So basically, how is a, or how does Clavio know if someone left a product in the cart? That's mainly if someone is signing up within the pop-up or a sign-up form on your website. Uh, if they have a customer account, not many people are doing this, but this is also one way for Clavio to let it know or if they are already a customer. So you got already the data, you got already their email addresses. Then with the cookies on your website, right, they will track the behavior and the product of the person. And then if they left it, they will go into the abundant card flow. So this is a quick overview right on the abandonment flow why you should use it and also how it works with it the tracking okay so let's go straight into my clavio account and i will show to you how to build this flow up from scratch now we're in the clavio account and what we want to do is we want to create a new abandonment card flow and I will do this for one of my products. It's an email marketing checklist for e-commerce stores. So basically for everyone that is leaving this product right in their cart, I want to retarget them with an email. So what I want to do is I will go back to Klaviyo. I will go 
flow to flows and I will start to create a new flow. And I've built my website on Shopify. So the integration is Shopify and I will see for the add to cart trigger, right? You will see a lot of different one. It's important that you only take the one that is uh, sending emails and has the added to cart trigger and not the checkout trigger. So. We click on that. Always make sure that the add to cart trigger is enabled on your store. If this gives you an error, there is a clear article on how to solve that. It will take you literally two minutes and then you will see a check mark in here and then you can create the flow. So the first thing that I always would like to do is I will add for a clear overview of all of the flows in my account, uh, a good naming in there. So I will use the number four, why we got the welcome flow, uh, the site abandonment, the browse abandonment, and then the fourth flow is the cart abandonment. So the fourth flow in the funnel so I will add it in here and I will add my tag so I know that I created this flow so then uh, once we've done that we will create the flow so now if the flow is loaded Clavio will give you already some templates in there but we're gonna change everything so it's gonna be more conversion rate optimized and we start with the triggers so what we want to do is we want to remove the last trigger and we want to add a new one and that is has not in this flow in the last 10 days and why we want to do that so everyone that left something in the cart right and let's say they make a purchase or they don't make a purchase and 10 days later or 30 days later right you retarget them with an email campaign or with advertisement they left again something in their cart you also want to retarget them again with this flow if you not set this up then people will only go one time through this flow and you also want to retarget those people if they are not in this flow after 10 days okay so that's something that we need to do and then what we have in here we got the time and we got the first flows so right now we want to change the first email so what we do is we click in here on edit and right now we will go into the clavier section where you can build this email so right now I will real quick build this email and then walk you through step by step on all of the steps so you can do the same Okay, so right now I've created the first email and I walk you quickly through it on the design and why some things are really important to include in this email. So first of all, you want to have a clear um, yeah, header section with your logo and then you want to use a headline. So right now this product is a one product, right? So I only have this product. So in this case, if you have a one product store, you can specific talk about the product. If you don't have that, so let's say you have multiple products or you have a collection, what I would like to do and what I recommend you to do is use more of a general uh, thing in this copy right so hey don't forget your and then you can add the product title in there and then in this second section you can use something like urgency or you can use a usp okay so you can say hey we have limited stock left so act fast something like that is what you can do in this sub copy then in here we have a link or a call to action that will bring the people back to the cart and in here i added an image of uh, yeah the product so they know what they have seen okay so later on i'm going to show you as well how you can make this dynamic for if you have multiple products in here you have a copy what I always would like to do is add the first name so you have more personalization in there than uh, that you have seen that you've noticed that they left the product uh, hanging in the cart, right? And then ask, hey, do you have a question or is something uh, th did something stop you from make your uh, purchase? And sometimes it happens. And uh, then you have a quick uh, yeah, use piece about the product and then a call to action with an, a name under it, right? I highly recommend it to always use name. You don't have to use a founder name, but you can also use someone of the customer service team because it will add more personalization than a call to action that will bring them back to the cart. And then in here, there's some social proof, okay? So in this case, I highlighted some of the Trustpilot reviews. So what is really important in here is that you don't give a discount code directly, right? I never use discount codes for my kind of products, right? Because I don't want to give it for free or with a discount away. But uh, if you want to, uh, or if you have room to add a um, discount code in here, don't do it in the first email or in the second email, do it always from the third email. Why is that? Most of the time people will simply forget that they left something in the cart. And also all of these results that you see in here and of the first email is without giving a discount code. So you will save also a lot of margins in there, okay? so. 
that's what you can do and this is basically the email how i would like to set it up what is important if you have multiple products and that is something that clavio already include for you is this dynamic block in here okay so basically if someone is leaving something in the cart then uh, in here the product will be shown that what they have left in the cart okay so make sure that you use this what i would recommend is that you remove the link behind it right why is that then uh, in this case there won't be like a blue title of the name okay and then basically this call to action button you can put it below the product that they've seen okay so that's basically how you can do it what is important as, as well is that you use this link address code for in your button so i will unlink the unlink this and uh, the link address will be the rent url because it's an added to cart trigger it will redirect people directly back to the cart instead of back to the collection page home page or the product page okay so make sure that you always do that with all of your uh, buttons that you double check that and that you add the event url and what i also would recommend to do is do that with uh, your logo in here okay why is that same as on a website right if you click on an on the logo right it redirects people always away people know that so you will also see in your emails that people will click on your logo so make sure that you add a link address behind it same as for your image right so if you have one product store then you can do that otherwise uh, it will be automatically done uh, because of the dynamic uh, code in here okay so right now we will publish it and we have saved it i will remove this right now for here because uh, i have a one product store and like this and right now we've basically our email right so this is the first email that you can set up as you can see it's way more branded and optimized than it was before uh, i used one product store if you have multiple products again use the dynamic and use more of the general use piece of your store and basically what you can do then is uh, click on exit right you save it and you will see it in here and what you can do is the subject line you can use something like forget something or uh, what i like to do what has always a big open rate is status update about your order so basically something like this so this way it's like hey an update status update did i order something right it will create more urgency for people to open the email then the preview text is don't leave this behind something like that right play around with it uh, you can split test that uh, and what is really important is that the sender name is always something like a person in here okay so imagine if i only said like hey profit wave media or then from profit wave media right so it's more personal if a person sends you an email so it will increase your open rates so once that is done so once you edit uh, the subject line and the preview text you can click on done and basically you can set it from manual to live and congratulations your first email is live and what you want to do in this flow is that you add two to three emails like i said the first emails you don't want to add the discount code and you only want to do it in the last uh, email okay so only add in the last email a discount code and by the way if you like this type of videos right make sure that you subscribe leave a like and let me know in the comments which other flow you would like to see next right so i can also prepare a video for that and if you don't want to wait on that or you want to have all of the full setup of which other emails including designs copies and strategy uh, and not only about the card flow but also of every other flow check out my checklist uh, email marketing checklist i will link it down below and with that being said your first email is live get that revenue and i will see you in the next video bye